In this Smartsheet automation video, we're going to learn how to set up a status update that will be sent automatically. Let's dive in. All right, we got our sheet here from the last automation video, and we're going to go ahead and create our next automation, which is a status update. So we're gonna go ahead and use this sheet. So let's go back up here where it says automation. We're gonna click automation and we're gonna do create from scratch. Now we're gonna give this a title. Since this is the second automation we're creating, we'll just call it number two and we'll just simply call it status update, update. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a status update that will automatically go out when the status changes to in progress. And maybe we want our PM to change the end date when the status update changes to progress. So if, real quick here before I get into that, let's go back to the sheet here. So we want the trigger to be whenever this changes, whenever the status column changes to in progress, then whoever the PM is for that same row will be prompted to update the end date. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go and put this to not started, we'll click save, and let's click on our automation up here. Automation, create from scratch, call this number two. Again, status update, PM to update end date. All right. So first things first, as always, start with our trigger. Again, it's like the boulder on the top of the hill. The automation only triggers, only works when someone pushes the boulder at the top of the hill and then it can automatically roll down the rest of the way. So we're gonna push the boulder, so to speak, by setting our trigger. Um, we have our four options here. I'm only gonna do when rows are changed, when rows are changed. All right, and the column in that row that we want changed is when status changes to in progress. All right, so we have our trigger set. We want it to run as soon as it's triggered. We can change that here, but as soon as it's triggered. And now what we wanna do is we wanna scroll down till we get to request an update. This is a status update. They call it request an update, but I call it status update. So we're gonna click here. And by default, it's gonna try to send it to someone specific, but we don't wanna send it to someone specific. We want the automation to be sent to whoever is in that column, whatever PM is in that, in that row and in that column. So we're gonna click into here. We're gonna choose the second option, send to contact in a cell. And then we're gonna click in here and it's gonna pull up all the different columns that are contact columns. In our, our sheet, we only have one, which is PM. So we'll click PM. And then we can customize the message that they receive both in the smart sheet alert and in the email. So in the title, we can go ahead and do please update the end date for this project. All right. And I'm gonna get back to the body here, but I wanna show you something cool here. If I go to specific fields, you never really wanna send everything, shotgun everything at them. You only wanna give them the specific fields that they need to know and that you would like them to update. So we're gonna click into here. I wanna make sure they see if there's any comments or any attachments for that row. I wanna give them the project name. I'm not gonna put in the PM because they already know who they are. And I'm gonna give them the end date, the end date. All right, so they only need to see these fields. And as you see here, um, what this is saying in the body of this is that you can actually pull in the information into the body right here by using double brackets. So if I say, for example, for project, double squiggly bracket, project name, close it with two squiggly brackets. Please update, oops. please update the end date. Thanks. 
you could even do something like this hi two brackets pm close brackets so what this is doing right here in the messaging is whenever you put a column header name inside two squiggly brackets like I did for PM and I did for project name, it will automatically pull in that information based on the row that is being triggered. And I feel like, okay, Justin, that's getting confusing. Well, let's run a test and I think it will make a lot more sense. So first off, let's go and save by clicking on the bottom right. We'll save it. And now let's go ahead and go back to our sheet. And let's change this project name. We'll call it Project Applesauce. And we'll leave that as is. Let's go ahead and click Save. Now let's go ahead and test this automation. To test an automation, go back to Automation. Go to Manage Automation Workflows. We have two of them. And this is the one we just created right here. We're going to go ahead and for testing it, we're actually going to click on the three dots in the right here. We're going to click test now. And you can either run all the work, you can either run this workflow for all the rows. I do not recommend that. Or you can do it for a specific row. That's what I recommend. So we're going to click there. And then you can choose which row you'd like to test. Um, but what you can also do is you can also check this box and don't worry about a test automation going to a PM because I'll probably cause some confusion. You can have it go directly and only to you. So I check this box and uh, maybe I want to do it for row two because that's the, the one that we were looking at earlier, row number two. And let's click run workflow. So we're running a test on row two. All right, so set it's done, we'll click okay. Now we'll go back to our sheet and row number two right here. This is the one we ran a test on. And it's Project Applesauce. And let's see if our test came through. So it shows up here in the icon. So I'm gonna click Notification. And here it is waiting for me right here. I'm gonna click into here. And as you see here, it says, please update the end date for this project. And look at the body. It says, hi, Justin Arezio. See, because of the double brackets for PM, because that's my name. For Project, Project Applesauce, because that's what we put in there. Please update the end date. So see how the two double brackets pulled in whatever information was on that row, Justin Razio and Applesauce. And then right here, as the PM, I can make my changes. So it's asking me to update the end date. That's what I put in there. So here's the end date. I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna change it to 27th. If I won't need to attach anything, I can attach it. Leave, leave any comments. And then I can click Submit Update. And there it is, update complete. Now the nice thing is, you can see right there, it automatically made that update right now that I just did. So you can do this, say you have you know 20 rows, 50 rows, you know whatever, 100 rows of all this information, all of those status updates will automatically be sent to all the PMs based on our trigger, which is whenever status changes to in progress. So I'll be, click save on this. And I refresh. The automation will run now in real time. It's not a test. Hey guys, real quick. If you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are. I show you a brief description how to use them and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet. It's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. And here is our automation that really went through. This is not a test, this is a real automation. Here it is, applesauce, change the end date just like we looked at before. And the nice thing is if you go to an older status update you submitted and you try to submit it again, see how it says completed, it will not allow you. It says it's already been completed. All right, and the last thing I wanted to show you is specifically for status updates. See this little icon right here that appeared? That lets me know that a status update is pending. A status update is pending for this, for this row. So if you click on this little blue icon here, 
it shows you all the previous um, status updates for this row. And that is how you do a status update to be sent automatically based on a trigger. All right, you guys, as always, take care and God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.